I-94 westbound, we are getting back off here at exit 1, route 239. This is our Four Winds Casino stop. Sign over there. It says New Buffalo Gateway in Michigan. That seems fairly new. I don't remember that before. That is kind of cool. I'd like to get a picture of that, but I don't think I can really get close by. Got the water tower for Four Winds over there. The whole bridge over there looks kind of new, actually. And so after you exit and head to the right, then you just got to make a left at Wilson Road over here. First stoplight. There's a sign over there for four winds. And you're pretty much there. You ready for the little windy entrance road? I may have vlogged this before, I really don't remember. But we're vlogging it now. Fog color is really nice in this area, too. I had a particular place in mind in Michigan that I have vlogged at before. You might be able to guess where. One of my earlier vlogs that I wanted to come back here during peak fall season. And just with everything going on in my life this year, did not happen. I could have done that, and then I would have probably had to skip four wins and just really wanted to do four wins this time, so. But I'll be back. Sometime next year. Maybe spring, maybe fall. Still deciding which one, but definitely want to visit that place again. Either in fall or spring. A couple of places actually. One that is in Indiana that I actually haven't vlogged at before. I'm very much interested in checking out in one of those seasons too. by uh, South Bend. It's actually a uh, like a Japanese botanical gardens that I kind of found by accident and it was right before I kind of started with Memories by Wayne so I have no uh, vlog of it but I'd love to see that either during spring. That would be actually particularly one would be really good at, for spring and then to go back to this place um and I might as well say it's the uh, Fordenwood Botanical Gardens that I visited. Um, I actually checked it out on one of my uh, anniversary dates for Memories by Wayne. First anniversary, I think? Or second? Uh, I think first. And um, I definitely want to go back there um, during the fall because it will definitely have to be amazingly beautiful there. So. Here we are. Oh yeah, four wins. Love it. We are back. Awesome, awesome. Kinda wanna just drive by here real quick and then we'll go inside parking. But I just had to check out the outside. So when I park in the parking garage, I never really get to see it. But... 
Got the resort over there. Awesome. made it back home to Four Winds, New Buffalo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Feels good to be back. Well, we have made it. We are ready to head in. As with most casinos, I am limited on what I can film. I will do my best inside provide you with as many updates as possible from the common areas it's going to be interesting to see what has changed inside I hear it is non-smoking now at least that's what I thought I heard if that's the case it is going to smell a whole lot different and a whole lot cleaner inside there so I'm looking forward to that if that is the case. Um, other than that, I suspect it's like a lot of the casinos. Games are spaced apart. Um, table games may be limited on capacity. I think the buffet is still closed, unfortunately. I'm not counting on it to be open. That would be awesome. If it was, I would do it, but I highly, highly doubt that. But we'll see what we get inside, I guess. Well, as I guessed, the Arcade and Kids Quest is closed. That's a first. Very eerily quiet, for sure. And not too surprisingly, there was a temperature check when you walked in and they asked you some screening questions, which is pretty typical. So, let's continue on. Yep, no buffet. <laughs> yeah, not surprising. I miss buffets. I really do. <laughs> oh, I need a buffet again. They still got the fire though. much everything is as I expected. Of course the buffet unfortunately is not open. It looks like the gift shops are open. I haven't seen what's going on at Timber's Deli yet. Um, I haven't walked through the casino yet. Um, just kind of casually walking by. It looks like all the machines are there like typical but like some of the other casinos that I have visited this year. Um, only some of them are on. Some of them are turned off to allow for the social distancing. So, pretty much what I expected. 
But we're gonna go kind of walk through it and maybe hit some machines and uh, see how it goes. I'm definitely interested in seeing what is going on with Timber's Deli. I plan to eat there if I can. It's not too much of a hassle. Uh, so we'll check that out in a little bit. So we're doing pretty good so far. Haven't lost anything yet. Um, Timber Deli is open as normal with actual table seating. Hard Rock Cafe is open. The Copper Rock Steakhouse surprisingly is closed. I did not expect that. So we are going to hit the Timber Deli shortly before we head out. Other than that, everything is going pretty well. Like I said, just you know, some of the slots are uh, shut down, turned off. Most of the table games seem to be going like normal. Yeah, everything is going pretty well. Just sadly, the buffet is not open. <laughs> but uh, other than that, pretty good. Um, yeah, no smoking in here, which is nice. Definitely smells a bit cleaner. I approve of that for sure. Hope that always stays like that. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, pretty good so far. So continuing on, I'm gonna hit a few more slots and then we're gonna go to Timber Deli. Did pretty good today we won five dollars which if you know how I gamble that is actually a pretty good day so yeah I am pretty happy I could have hit the slots a little bit more but decided nah you know it's good for the morale knowing you're gonna come out with a few extra dollars even though I am gonna spend that right now at Timberzelli that is our next step go get some food over there fun day though I love this place glad to be back my last trip here was last fall uh, when I went to st. Joseph for the fall festival the luminary festival um, and obviously this place was closed for quite a while due to COVID um, but it's nice to be back. I love the atmosphere here. And the variety of slots. And there are a lot more selection of penny slots here than there are at any Indiana or Illinois casino closer to home. And just generally all the slots are cheaper, so. Between the prices and the atmosphere here, I think the trip is well worth it to come out here. So, awesome experience. We're gonna go to Timber Deli now and get some food. Well, we have finally made it to Timber's Deli. Got our food ordered, we're just waiting for it now. We got ourselves a table. We're pretty socially uh, distant, so uh, I think we're good to go. Yeah, there's actually like no one sitting near me at all. Some folks behind me, but otherwise, <laughs> nothing going on. because they don't want people reusing the pens that you sign your receipts with. I get a free souvenir for Wynn's pen. Another win for the day. Got my drink in a eco-friendly cup. Pretty cool. And this is what we're dealing with. Sloppy Joe Combo. I get this a lot here. Sloppy Joe. 
fries, pickle, and a drink for only $11. Not bad at all. Still wish I could have the buffet, but as an alternative, this will certainly do. I'm about to make my wife real mad by doing this. But that's okay, she's not here. Yep, we're putting mayo on the fries. Cause why not? I like mayo. My wife does not. <laughs> but. That'll work. Trying the sloppy joe. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend the sloppy joe. They have a burger special and then the sloppy joe special. Um, definitely get sloppy joe if that's your thing. I know Sloppy Joe is probably one of those things you either love it or hate it. I definitely like it. But it's very good here. The bun is very good too. I like the kind of the texture of the, the front of the bun. It's you know, very good. The bun is warm, which is always nice and when you get it. And, yeah. It just goes really well together with the with the Sloppy Joe beat. A really good flavor to Sloppy Joe as well. It's got a lot of good taste to it. If I don't usually get one of their all-day breakfast items, then I'm going with this typically. Then we'll eat the fries. A little bit of a mess here. For the combos, the specials, with the burger sloppy joe, you can get either fries or chips. A lot of times I get the chips, but decided to go with the fries this time. I try to stay away from fries because of the carbs, but I really haven't ate anything all day, so I figured whatever. Very good. They are crispy fries. So, you know, they're a little extra, a little extra crispy than normal fries. So I, I like that. They have really good fries here. You can choose whether you want to put mayo on your fries or not like me. I like it, but they also have ketchup and mustard over in the little tray thing here. And we'll take a quick look at what we're dealing with inside here. Yeah, really good meat. Not bad at all. And of course, we've got to try the pickle. Very good. It's 
kind of cool that they actually give you a pickle with the sloppy joe, even though, you know, more typical for burgers, but they'll still give you one with sloppy joe, so. Can't complain there. All right, well, I'm gonna finish this up. We'll see you in a bit. I usually don't finish my fries, but I guess I was hungry today. And that will do it for this We Miss You Noise Four State Road Trip Adventure. Two Four Winds in New Buffalo, Michigan. Really fun time. Glad I had the opportunity to have the chance to come out here at least once in 2020. Hope you enjoyed this road trip, this little adventure. It'll be interesting for sure to see where we are at, how the casinos, restaurants, and life in general will be this time next year. I guess we shall see. But thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And of course, check us out on Facebook and Instagram.